What's up, y'all? How are you doing today? So we're going out on a bit of a field trip today. Excuse my beeping. I didn't tell you guys this, but I am a realtor, hence all the free time that I have to have the flexibility really to work on different things, whether that be around the house or um, to go out and run errands. As a realtor, one of the things that I really desired to do was own a rental property. And so um, my wife and I are fortunate to have one. and. Um, on occasion, I'll have to run out over there to make certain repairs and just check on the property. One of the things about owning a rental property is that you never know what kind of tenant you're going to get. And so when we first listed the rental property, we thought, okay, we're in a great market. If we can't find a good tenant, maybe we'll just sell. But we were fortunate enough to find a great tenant. They've been there for over a year now. and. Uh, even though sometimes some of the things are just small things to fix, I offer to just take care of it for them because uh, number one, they're great tenants, and number two, I enjoy doing these things. Sorry about that. So today we're headed over there. We're going to fix a screen door. I thought I'd bring you along and show you how to fix some of those things. All right, we just pulled up to the property now, and I'm about to get out, but one of the things I wanted to share with you before I go in is... I was talking about owning a rental property and there's really some great upsides. Of course there's downsides too. The upsides for this, number one, here in Dallas-Fort Worth the home values are increasing. So the longer I hold the property, the value is going to go up. And the second side of things, of course having the rental property, you're making profit off of the rental income that you're receiving. So in addition to that and the equity increasing, they're just all upsides to the situation. Of course, when it gets bad is when you have bad tenants or when managing it becomes too much for you. So in this case, I have mostly upsides and it's just a great situation to be in. All right, so what I have here is the easy to make screen kit. This kit will include the screen, the spleen, and a roller. So I've got the door off. Just going to make it a lot easier to install the new screen. The first thing you want to do is remove the screen and its old spleens. Um, in this case, I have new spleens, so I'm going to just dispose of these. But if you don't and you just get the kit without the new spleens, you want to try to keep these. So what I'm going to use here is a pair of needle nose pliers and a flathead if you have one just to pry out the old spleens like so. These are pretty loose and come out pretty easily so I think I can just grab it and pull it out. thing, you want to open up your screen. So it came with this. This is the roller. It came with this, which is the spleen. Now you just want to roll out your screen. give you plenty of excess and the first thing you want to do is just pick one side and start rolling your spleen inside of it. This spleen is actually not tight enough so I'm going to have to use the old pieces. So, as you can see, I just tucked the screen nicely inside and pushed the edge that's facing out. What I'm going to do at the end is just cut along the edge right here to make sure it's clean. Alright, 
right now it's in, it's going to cut off the excess. What you want to do here is pull the excess and just drag your utility knife along the edge. That's just so gratifying. Voilà.